Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Chondriatic, an RPG Maker horror game, part of the Scream Mortality Game Jam, where something's growing under your skin. I haven't done anything to my hands. Nothing I can remember. It shouldn't be nerve pain. It's been days without let up. Everyone says I slept wrong. My doctor said there's no visible signs of anything. But it is so, so itchy. I can't sleep. My hand keeps itching. I can't ignore it anymore. What am I looking at? I put on my glasses. I shouldn't be seeing things. It itches on the inside, too. I'm panicking. There's nothing there. Just turn the lights on. Below the skin. I don't like that. So... Small note, uh, this is actually a second game I believe I've played for this jam. The other one was the... the Bucket Janitor game, the SCP kind of lab. Not tired. And the theme is... It's not just immortality or infinity, it also has to do with mortality in general. So I feel like this is what this game is probably leaking into. Turn the lights on. Lights are on. I don't understand. What the fuck? I blink several times, rub my eyes, put my glasses on and off repeatedly. But for some reason I see... glowing little spots on my hand. It doesn't hurt. But when I graze my fingers across the spots... itches. It's... real. It's real. I've never seen anything like it. Is it serious? Am I going to die? What the fuck? What the fuck? Should we scratch it off or leave it? Scratch. This can't be happening. Not to me. It itches so badly. Oh no. I don't understand. It's just gonna get worse, isn't it? I need to understand. I can't be the only one alive this has happened to. Answers. I need answers. It feels like a stereotype, but maybe I can find something online. Why would it be a stereotype? I feel like that'd be, aside from calling me to be a doctor. Very scrap notes, doodles, writings. Somehow I've missed the trash can every time. It's late. Smiley face. My dresser. My bookshelf. Majority of them are my journals. I can't be the only person in the world this has happened to, right? I can't think of anything that glows, but maybe it's bioluminescent bacteria. Maybe it's just a trick of the light. Maybe you got that disease from Subnautica. I wasn't able to find much. Or anything really. The majority of the results are about skin infections or fungal growths, but none of them mention any kind of glowing. God, it itches. I can't help but scratch. Fungal growth is the only thing that sounds even remotely close. Was I anywhere weird recently? Did I touch something dirty? I would have ran down somewhere. I really, sh really shouldn't keep scratching it. It's getting worse. Let's go around. Roommate's room can't go in there. Check the bathroom out. Seem fine. Yeah, yeah, no, we're fine. I don't want to go downstairs. This is just on our hand. Can always handle it the old fashioned zombie way. I definitely absolutely would have written down. At the very least, I'll be able to know. I can ignore it if it just, I understand what's going on. I can barely focus. January 7th. I took some Pepto from my stomach. But it just made it hurt even worse. It's really worrying me. I think I might be allergic to it. Or something in the medicine is really reacting badly with me. I'm trying really hard to ignore the part of my brain that's screaming at me that something has ruptured. March 19th. My head hurts. I usually don't get headaches, so it's worrying. 
I've checked a few times now, but the blood pressure cuff reads differently every time. It might be busted. I just don't want to have a stroke or an aneurysm. I really don't want to call 911 for having a headache, though. December 10th. I've had hiccups for over 30 minutes now. I know it's really stupid to worry, but what if something's wrong with me? What do you do for chronic hiccups? I tried holding my breath, drinking water, holding my head upside down. Well, I've had hiccups for the rest of my life. What if it never goes away? I can't concentrate. It's itching worse than ever before. Is it a symbolic itching or is it a real itching? Like a thousand bugs are crawling all over me. Itching and doesn't even help. It just spreads it around. I just feel like I'm... I need... to calm down. Frack. Frack, 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 frack. I... I need to investigate. I have... to hold it in. I need to stay calm no matter what. It feels wrong under my jacket. Like something is loose. Oh boy. Oh ho 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 no ho ho. Okay. There is still a chance it can be symbolic. We could still be okay. 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 Did my skin just come off? What the frack am I looking at? Something. Something's very, very wrong. Yeah, I, I would think so. I know it is. I need... I, I need to look at this in the mirror or something. I don't know. I don't know. Are we okay? We were fine before. No, it's getting worse by the second. No. No. No, 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 no. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, no. This isn't real. This is a nightmare. This is hell. This is a nightmare. Examine. Uh, it looks like there's like little arms coming out of the side. Or tendrils. Or little feelers. It doesn't even hurt. It just... It's just growing. No matter what I do. We're okay. It's all good. Roommate, help me. Oh, you actually came out. Well, I didn't actually think that would happen. Oh, L, you started me, huh? Uh, sorry. The, the bathroom's all yours. I quickly hide my arm behind my back. Oh yeah, no worries. Didn't know you were still up, to be honest. Yeah. Sorry, I, I really have to. Oh, sure, are you okay? I'm okay. We can talk in the morning. Um, okay. If you're sure, I'm dying. I'm not sure. I'm not sure of anything. Hey, L, the bathroom's a mess. What ha- Oh, oh my god. L, are you okay? What? What is that? All over you. I mean, someone else is seeing something. Maybe it's not symbolic then. I, I, do you mean to call someone? Are you hurt? I, I really need to go. Wait, L. You need to go to the hospital, that's what. I shouldn't touch it. What if it's parasitic? What if it burrs or spears or is poisonous? I don't understand. I need to understand. I can't be the only one alive this has happened to. Answers. I need answers. Let's try the other option. I think I'm going to die. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I'm trying to stay calm, but so bad. I'm dying, absolutely dying. If I stay senior, I'm gonna fucking die. Try disinfect? There has to be something in here. Something can get it out. Get out of my body. Get out of my body. Shit. 
broke the cabinet window. Shut. It itches everywhere. Ah, is that my arm? Why doesn't it hurt? How, why, what's happening to me? I can't keep my jacket on anymore. There's too much sticking out of me now. I have to put on a towel. I, I'll make it go away. I'll kill it. Whatever this is. So, let's see here. This is any different with the different options I chose? I chose all the positive ones this time. Okay, what is that? I... Give me a call someone or you're hurt. Truen. Question mark? So that's it for Chondriatic. So this game was released about half of a day ago, basically. And it looks like, going in the description, some of the bug in the game, that I guess they kind of ran real close to the deadline, so they had to submit it as it is. Which is why there's a little bit of a jarring contrast to the endings. And the endings are actually aren't in the game. They actually had to upload them as separate videos. So, on the storyline, Despite us turning into a, a very kind of weird and creepy, I don't even know what it was. It was like a weird spider, spider fungus thing. I'm going to go with the storyline is still symbolic. It may be a real transformation. It may not. But I, I think the message of the story is about the symbolism of the transformation and not being comfortable and peeling off the skin and turning into something else and kind of rejecting it initially at first. Because the true ending is you embrace it. You, you choose all the calm options, and then you purposely rip off the skin, and then the bad ending is rejected, and then you just kind of forcibly transform into it. So without going into the specifics of what that might basically be, literally, I think I understand the symbolism of what the game is. But yeah, certainly not bad for a game jam horror game. Uh, I would actually say there's really nothing wrong with it, aside from like the bug and the, like the endings not being in the game and stuff like that. It has the typical problems of like, they didn't have enough time to like polish things out, add more content, etc, etc. But conceptually, and even like the little cutscenes, and I also like how the cutscene were black and white for the ending. Very kind of creepy, skin crawly, quite literally, feeling. And I like body horror quite a bit. I think body horror is very cool. Because I think body horror is a very natural horror. You have physical horror, like Jason coming and knocking down your windows or something and being like, Hey, Jason, you got paid for my windows or what? And like, oh, I don't have to pay him. I'm Jason. And then you've got body horror. And I think body horror is a very internal horror that a lot of people can relate to. So I've always really digged body horror kind of stories. But yeah, it's a fine enough, like I said, body horror story. And body horror is one of the classical formats you can squeeze into 10 minutes like this. Anyway, so thank you all for watching me play Chondriatic. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.